Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? We gonna see what's going on today. Um, we gonna see how or what someone is thinking of you or you're thinking of them. Let's see, let's get into this today. I hope everyone is doing well out there. I hope everything is feeling good. So just closing my eyes, channeling a little bit. I see somebody cruising down, like they in like some type of Cadillac. It looked like, don't you, I don't know what's the name of that movie. But it's like when they cruising in a drop top and the ladies got like the scarves around their head and they just got their hands up. So I don't know if this is you just enjoying yourself relaxing or if this is somebody else just having like the freaking time of their life. But I don't know. I feel happy in the inside and I feel like somebody is having the time of their life. I don't know why. I mean, well, I don't care. I, I'm happy you're having that, right? But let's see what's going on. And maybe somebody else not. I just seen somebody was having some amazing sex too. Hmm. Are you getting the end? God damn, I wish I was you. Oh. So we have express your needs. So somebody needs to express themselves. We got some options coming here. Hmm. We got somebody falling. Or not sure if they want to fall. And then we got somebody reaching out. Damn. And at the bottom of the deck, we have short-term connection. So, guys, let's see. Let's look into this. So, instantly, guys, with this expression needs, it's giving me the feeling that somebody may want to express themselves to you in some type of way. Or maybe you want to express yourself to somebody. But this person could have other options. And it could make you very afraid about dealing with this person. Um, you could be scared about falling for this person. And this person could be reaching out to you a lot. You could be speaking to this person a lot right now. If not, you could want to. Somebody definitely could feel like they, they want to express themselves to you. Because they dealt with some other options. And they made you feel unsafe. And they definitely could be reaching out to you to express this. This person probably, look, I knew I was saying like the time of, the, of, of their life, I hear. I don't know if this is what they had with you. But somebody definitely feel like they miss you and you were the time of their life. Or something was the time of their life. The time that they had with you. The time that they spent with you. Something that they done. Something that you guys done together. Maybe it was a vacation. But this person continued to do fabulous things. Like deal with other options. Um, make you feel like you wasn't the only one. Or you wasn't the only one. In some type of capacity with dealing with this person. Spirit, please clarify expression needs. And that was too much. We're not taking all that. Okay, this 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 page of wands wants to come out. And it wants to come out in reverse here. Hmm. So again, this person knows that they were immature about something. That they also lost passion for something somebody could have lost passion for something as well a lot of immature energy to this person this person could have definitely been in and out flighty in some type of way and this person know that they were sneaky that they tried to get away with something they regret it now. They wish they hadn't tried to do this. 
And then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This person definitely feels like they're getting their karma in some type of way. Bad luck. Things not going good for them right now. Because of them being deceptive. Being in this Page of Wands energy in reverse. Not very uh, creative. Because this person can create things. And it's passionate about what they create. But in reverse, it's delays. They're not moving. They're not doing anything. They don't have passion about nothing. This is a stagnant individual. Lazy. Somebody knew they was lazy in this relationship. And that they were very toxic. They want to come out of this devilish energy now. They don't want to be toxic anymore. They don't want to be leaving you in your head about things. They don't also don't want to make you feel like you're tied to some type of toxicity. This person also could have had some type of addictions. They could have drank, smoked, whatever. But they now want to release these things. Because this person is falling on a lot of bad luck for the things that they did do. For being in deceitful when at any cause energy. Thinking negative. And spurring it off onto you. Trying to get away with things that they shouldn't. Because they were being lazy. They were being lazy in this relationship. They were being lazy in their passion towards you. Which lets you know and understand. And maybe wanted you wanted to release this toxicity. You release this person, the devil. And now this person is reaching out, wanting to talk, wanting to be your friend again. But I don't know if you want to be this individual friend at this time. But this person is definitely uh, wanting to express something to you. It's something that they want to talk to you about. It's something that they want to express to you. Maybe about the option that they chose if they chose somebody over you. Like now they want to talk to you about it. Express it. It's like, what the fuck? God damn. Ever since you left me, I've been having bad luck. Ever since you left me, I can't get up. It's like, <laughs> that's how they feeling though. Mm. You got the ten of pentacles and the seven. But I ain't going to take them because the way they fell but yeah this person is like they they ain't shit ain't been going right since you left them but they know they made it unsafe for you to fall you don't feel safe with this person and they know that's their calm look the ace of wands in reverse the, they're at a delay things is at a standstill they feel like their wishes is not being granted their passion is it's turned upside down. Whatever they were trying to make grow isn't growing. They feel like, uh, you don't love me no more. They might feel this way. Like you don't want nothing to do with them anymore. They feel like they ain't getting their happiness. Their passionate new beginning is at a standstill. They also could want some, wanted something to begin new with you. But now they feel like something is delayed. Because look, you wanted to put a, a stop to something. Death. An ending to something. And this person wanted to marry you or wants to marry you with this full wand. Or wants to celebrate with you, take you out, do something nice for you. This is what they could be reaching out about. But you feel like this is this situation is dead. And this person is still erratic. Because the cards keep flipping all over. So it's like this person still is erratic. And you know this. This person still could be in a lot of wands energy. Which is a, a lot of passion. That's what they led with. And that's what probably caused a problem with them cheating. Choosing other options. Hmm. But yeah, you want to release this devil, and you did. And you definitely could have put death to a situation, or this is how this person feels. And we have the seven of uh, pentacles in reverse. Now somebody don't want to 
invest in anything. Mm hmm. Somebody feel, feeling like, why invest? What is there to invest? Somebody also might not feel like they have anything to really offer anymore at this time. Somebody don't want to work on this with these seven of pentacles here. Somebody's like, I don't even want to work on this anymore. What's the purpose? What's 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 what I need? Why need to? What why do I hear what's the need to? I'm sorry. Work on this. Because in the upright, this person wants to invest. This person wants to put in some work. This person is a little entrepreneur. You know, they figure for some things out. But in reverse, this person don't know what to do. They don't have nothing to invest in. They don't know how to manifest anything. They don't know uh, where to put their seeds for them to grow in other words look and then at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles <clears throat> i told you hard work this person is like this may take too much work they're giving up or this person know that it's going to take a lot of work to get this but right now they feel like they have some type of delay some type of standstill with you. Something isn't moving. And they know that it's going to take a lot of work for that to do. Like to get to get things back moving. They know they messed up. It's the bid that they laid for themselves, Spirit says. You just following your heart as you're supposed to. Only if this person would invest it back. But right now, they're not reaping the fruits of their labor. And look, we have unconditional love in reverse. And somebody feels like the love is lost. This could be you. This could be them. But I think this is you. Even though you care about this person, you don't feel the same way you used to. The love that was once there isn't there. I mean, it's not like you don't care about this person at all. But I do feel like... You know how, like, in the beginning stages, how everything a person do hits you, you know, and it makes you feel some type of way, and it bothers you. It's like you're not bothered by the things this person do as much anymore. Even though you still care about them, look. It says, I can. You just feel like you've outgrown some of the bullshit that you can do better. You're probably working on your health, looking better, smelling better, feeling better. You know, and it's like, now this person comes with their bullshit or how they used to do things. You know, and it's like, I'm not invested. Like, I'm releasing it. But this person will be reaching out, trying, and they don't know what you're going to do. They don't know if you've given up on them or not have you stopped invested investing in them or not that's how they're feeling so they definitely want to come and try and see if you still want to you know mess with them but i think you look at this person as a page of wands in reverse like they they giving up they don't have enough passion in anything they want to do where's your creativity you got all these bright ideas, but you have nothing to go with. And you're not trying. You know, this person is lazy. It's like this page of wands in reverse is a lazy person. And this is um, the star in reverse. This person is losing hope. They also dim your light in a lot of ways. You know, they made you lose hope. This star has lost hope. And this is this person fear that you've lost hope in them. They came to you for their healing and now you like go somewhere else. You side out eyeing them and your back is turned. You know, solo magic. I mean, sex magic. Hmm. 
you could have definitely been very or be very sexually tied to this person. This person definitely can have a sexual tie to you. Y'all can have great sex because this situation is sexually deemed. It's a sex demon in it. So you have a lot of good sex with this person. And this is why you keep going back to this person. Or this is how they come in with, that's the devil. That, that's that toxicity. That's those addictions. So the addictions that this person has is sex. And them um, not being able to control it. So this person has a sexual addiction. And it's kind of like a, a sexual vampire. like Because their sex is very good. So once somebody gets it, they're hooked. And this person knows this. So that's why they feel like they can reach out. And maybe get you to change your mind about some things. But it looks like you may have grabs definitely a new way of thinking. With this I can card. You have definitely maybe been meditating. Eating better. Feeling better. Acting better. And have become closer with your higher self. And this person feels crippled at this time. Or this is what they want to come in and do to you. Cripple you. Um, <laughs> I mean. I don't know why I just thought of it. <laughs> like, you will knock your legs loose. But, you know, I'm saying, like, <laughs> like you know, put you back in the state that you was in with this person. Making you, you feel like they were liars, deceitful, always trying to get away with something. Which definitely would have had anybody up in their head. You definitely could have expressed something to them about their behavior about their sexual nature or the things that they like to do a lot of but this person definitely was tempted tempted in this relationship and or tempts you <laughs> one or the other but sexually that's a big thing in this so this is somebody who whipped on this person more than anything like you can go without them, but you can't go without the sex. Look, nine of swords. What I said. You can go without them, but you ain't going without their sex. Look, this person is up in a bed, not being able to sleep. Reliving trauma, just thinking, thinking, thinking. So every time you get back with this person, this is where you be stuck at. You be in a nine of swords. Stuck up at night, not being able to sleep. This person might not come home at night when you're dealing with them they might stay out at night you might be up waiting for them to call they don't call you you know but this person leaves you in the bed wanting them while they gone doing what they want to do probably with other partners and look the ten of um pentacles in reverse and this delays your stability this is making you feel unstable Delays in your family life because you keep trying to grow with somebody who don't really want to grow with you. Mm -hmm. Because this person is indecisive. They have some decisions to make. But a decision that they don't want to make, really. Because they stand blindfolded. This person is in a mind about changing and making you first and doing the things that they used and usually want to do. This person always has two or more options to choose from and things to do. That's why they're so flighty. That's why this person can be in and out and have a lot of toxic energy. And every time you deal with them, they put you in a nine of swords. You up at night, you thinking, you know, you got to start all over every time you go into a sexual union with this individual. You know, y'all are having sex, everything could be great, and then they leave and you feel horrible. And then the page of cups. New excitement. Because with this person, it's fun. It's exciting. The love is fresh. Everything seems new. Everything seems like, yeah, you know. But it always ends up putting somebody in a nine of swords. 
at the end of it. Look, the six of pentacles in reverse, unbalanced taken. It's an unbalanced situation at the end of it. It usually is. When you, after you finish with this person, it's usually the six of pentacles. It's unbalanced. I said the six of cups. I meant to say the six of pentacles. It's unbalanced. It's not there. This person definitely will come in or could come in with some type of message. You know, this page of cups. They could definitely shoot you a message about something exciting, new that may have be may transpired in a life in order to get you, you know, talking back to them or get you to try to make some type of decision in regards to them with these two of swords. But just be careful because this person definitely is going to lead or usually do lead with sex. You know? And I don't know if that's what you want right now and if that's going to make you feel good because it seems like you usually allow that to happen but then when it once it's over you be stuck in a nine of swords this person is usually lazy in this relationship they do not give you what you need the way you need it and then we have confidence yeah you're definitely trying to gain your confidence in this situation now you're trying to be strong. You're trying to do what you need to do for you. you looking better. Like I said, you definitely could be eating better, um, meditating, exercising. But something about you and your confidence has changed. And this person is noticing it. This person definitely, definitely noticed your pride. I'm not going to take it, but you seen pride was there. That your pride has changed. That now you thinking about you. This person definitely could have felt like you easily fell in love. Like you uh fell quick. And look, passion is here again. This person, you said, I got my confidence and I'm paying attention to the passion now. So now, yeah, you might be passionate about this person. But now you are paying attention to the passion. This is also you knowing that... You was letting passion be your weakness. You was giving into the passion with dealing with this person. And now you feel like I've gained confidence about myself and I'm using my intuition. Superstition is here. Being able to see things. You feel like you learned your lesson. Like, I already know what this type of situation will bring. I already know what dealing with you will, what will come out of it. I'm using my intuition in this. And you could be definitely giving this person attitude. But this person also could be noticing now. The collective attitude has changed. She ain't treating me the same. Even when I swing the dang leg. Like, like. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. And mystery. Yeah, you keeping stuff a secret. You keeping stuff closer to your heart. You're not telling this person your moves like you used to. You're not giving them the information like you used to. You know? They definitely going to hit you up talking about some exciting stuff or what they feel like exciting and going to try to probably do it with that. But when they come through, they're going to realize that your confidence has changed. And they that they cannot lead you with passion. You already see them coming from a mile away. And you will not be giving off the same attitude. Or telling your business to this person. You are, you are setting different type of boundaries now. And this person is definitely going to realize like, who the fuck she, who is this? Her confidence is on 10,000. Wait a minute, let me try this. Nope, she ain't giving me no sex. She acting like she already seen whatever I was about to say. She said it before I said it. Or you, It's like you're going to be on your shit. When it comes down to this person. And you're going to seem like a mystery to them. They're going to feel like they don't even know who you are. When they come back to you. Because they're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Because you like, because I'm tired of being in these, this, um, nine of swords. Being up at night. Wondering. 
in my head. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. Keep your your issues over there, somebody said. Keep your damn issues over there. Because I don't need them and I don't care. This person is definitely uh feeling some type of way. Because they definitely know they hurt you. Different paths. You are not on the same page with the person you have in mind. The directions you want to move into are different. Didn't I say? You are not feeling this person. You're like, uh, miss me with your shit, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> you on some old other stuff right now. Excuse my language, but you not going for what this person. Because this is somebody you went through this with before. And now you just using your... Your, your superstition, you just using your intuition. And you can tell that this is the same old person. Ain't no mystery to it. Or this person is looking at you like, who the hell is she? This new confident chick here. She got too much confidence for me. You know? Well, let me try to hit her up with that, the passion. But I think you turning that away. I don't even think, look. You said it's overwhelming. It's too much to think about even being with you. You also might be concerned about your health when you deal with this person at times. And it says patience. Some things still need to be dealt with for this connection to manifest. Didn't I say? You're going to see that nothing has changed about this person. The way they reach out, the way they come in. You're going to see that nothing has changed. And that's why you're going to give a different attitude. This is going to blindside them. Because they ain't going to know what the hell just happened. When you come through with this newfound attitude. Unless you already did. And this person is already like, what the hell? Where's my collective at? But my collective, like, I ain't got time for it. It says, put yourself first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what my collective is doing. That's what the collective is doing right now. Putting themselves first. Having patience to do what they need to do. And understanding that whoever this person was and or is. Y'all wasn't on the same path or y'all not in the same path. So they're going to come back in with this sexual energy that they had you whip with. But finally God has put that this, this magic, this spell that this person had on you. Some type of sexual spell is now off of you. You also could have went to readers to help this get off of you. See how these people have tarot cards in their hand? Yes. Mm hmm Because somebody don't want to invest in something anymore. Somebody's tired of investing. Putting their fruit where it ain't growing. It ain't working. And it says, open yourself up to me, love. It is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. Y'all heard me. Don't be scared, y'all. That's what you got to do. This person will have to get through and get over you. Um, however they see fit. But that's going to be something that they're going to have to deal with. But it looks like they're going to come in with that same energy. And you're going to see it. You're going to feel it. See it from a mind away. What the hell? You're going to be using your karate chop. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you get on out of here. Go simmer in this reading a little bit. And I will see you guys next time. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the video. And comment down below. Bye-bye.